Thank you, Myron. Ladies and gentlemen, it is such a pleasure to meet friends old and new here this afternoon. I would like to express my heartfelt thanks to the Chamber of Commerce for including China earthquake recovery and reconstruction priorities in the agenda of the conference and for the opportunity to talk to you. On behalf of Ambassador Zhou Wenzhong, the Chinese Embassy and the Chinese government, I would like to sincerely thank you all again for your generous donations and strong support to us in the wake of the massive earthquake in southwest China last May. As you know, it has been a time of anguish for China, but it has also been a time of international solidarity. The U.S. response has been prompt and swift. Immediately after the earthquake, President Bush called President Hu Jintao to discuss disaster relief. On May the 20th, as you've seen just from the video clip, President and Mrs. Bush came to the Chinese Embassy and pledged that the United States stands ready to assist in any way that China deems helpful. Administrator Harrieta Ford led a U.S. government and business delegation to the earthquake areas in late June and early July, working with the Chinese side closely to find out what were most urgently needed there. The U.S. government, members of Congress, and the general public responded with words of sympathy and encouragement and generous donations. In particular, there has been an outpouring of support from the American business community. The public-private partnership launched last June has ensured that resources from the public and private sectors in the United States are integrated and will reach the needed in a more efficient way. Ladies and gentlemen, with the joint efforts of the whole Chinese nation and the kind help of the international community, the quick hit areas are already on the road toward recovery and reconstruction. After extensive discussions and reviews, the Chinese government released a reconstruction plan on August the 27th for the quick hit areas. You can find the complete text of the plan on the Chinese government's website. The primary goals of the plan are, first, restore basic living conditions and reconstruct the public services facilities. Second, get industries and agriculture back on their feet as early as possible. Third, make, appropriate, make pro proper changes to the layout of cities, townships, villages, and related infrastructure. And fourth, gradually restore the eco environment. We estimate that it will take about three years to restore people's living conditions back to the level before the earthquake and lay a solid foundation for sustainable development. To achieve these goals, we must repair and reconstruct houses, schools, hospitals, railways, highways, and civil aviation facilities. We must restore water supply, post telecommunications, power plants, power grids, oil and gas pipelines, and other public services. We must relocate some factories, and in some cases, towns and villages. We must improve disaster prevention facilities to prevent secondary diseases, uh, disasters and ensure that the new structures, facilities, and services will stand for future earthquakes. We must address geological hazards caused by the earthquake and rehabilitate the farmland. We must also take good care of the historical and cultural heritage, as well as natural reserves in the affected areas. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the earthquake recovery and reconstruction is a long-term, tough, and comprehensive task, but we are confident that with the concerted efforts of the Chinese people and with the general support of the international community, we will bring about a better future for the people in affected areas. In that connection, I wish to thank, take this opportunity to thank you, thank you again for your strong support. Your assistance not only helps the Chinese people overcome the natural disaster, but also enriches the constructive and collaborative relations between China and the United States. It has displayed the best of global corporate citizenship. As you know, China-U.S. relationship has picked up a good momentum in recent years. Leaders of the two countries are in frequent contact. Business relationship is very strong. We are having effective coordination and cooperation on important regional and international issues. In addition, the goodwill and friendship between our two peoples are growing, further consolidating the foundation of our relationship. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have just concluded a successful Olympics in Beijing. China came out as the one who holds most of the gold medals 
and United States came out holding most of the medals. When being approached by the press, the London mayor, who was going to hold to sponsor the next Olympic Games, came out with the words to the effect that, we have been dazzled, we have been impressed, we have been uh, knocked out, but we have not been intimidated. So we are really looking forward to seeing another successful Olympics in London in 2012. So this is not only a successful story for China and the United States, but also a successful story for the whole international community. Well, the world, uh, with the globalization of the world economy, the world is getting smaller and smaller. And we are all members of this global village. So with our interests so interwoven and so interdependent upon each other, that we can, there's, either, there's only one choice for us, either cooperate and coming out as winners together or as losers. Uh, we have been watching anxiously you know, the uh, turbulence recently on the U.S. Uh, financial market. And we shared your uneasiness and your worries. And we do hope that the uh, U.S. economy will stand the trial, will weather the, the, uh, uh, the difficulties, will recover and will uh, flourish. Because we are now on the same boat and because we are not only stakeholders but also constructive partners. So in that spirit, I would like to congratulate you again on convening this global corporate uh, citizenship conference. And in, in this spirit, I wish the uh, private and public uh, partnership program will be as successful as any other joint ventures between China and the United States. And it's also in this spirit, I wish a steady, continuous development of the constructive and cooperative relationship between our two countries. Thank you very much indeed.